Welcome back to Cooper's World and my 2023 Christmas pickups. Welcome back guys, this is my Christmas 2023 pickups. Yes, you're going to be saying, but it's February and yes, I'm late again, but I've got the stuff to show off and that's the most important thing. So without any more waffle, let's get on with it. So, uh, start of December, I reached out to Buttercup, um, Roger Retro Gamer's uh, wife. Um, she does some hammer bead art. Now I haven't got them all here because my wife's put them away with the Christmas decorations, but I've got some pictures that I'll be putting over while I'm talking. So yes, it's very kind of uh, Buttercup. Um, she made me three um, Mario themed Christmas decorations and um, you should have seen those now scrolling past, but she uh, quite kindly made me a Cooper's World little plaque. I've got to put that up in my room. I haven't yet because I wanted to show it off. Um, that was very nice of her. I didn't ask for that. It was uh, just out of kindness of her own heart. Thank you very much. And then um, Roger sent me some gifts as well, which um, I've got to say thank you for. And he sent me a lovely note. I uh, hope these bits have made you are okay. That's from Buttercup. Roger's also added a few extra bits in there. Stay awesome. Hope you and yours have a lovely Christmas. Well, we did. Thank you very much for that backup. Um, so, Roger must have got confused slightly because um, being a Nintendo fan, he sent me through some lovely Sonic hearings. That one there. And another one there. That's focusing a bit better. I'll try the first one again. If that focuses. Yeah, there we go. Some lovely uh, Sonic key rings. Now I do have a lot of key rings. I don't know how to display them. Someone in one of my videos has suggested a sort of mug tree type thing and put them on, on there. But if anyone knows how to display key rings nicely, I've got quite a few to put net around. Um, I'm not sure. Comment below, uh, let me know. So that was that. I'm gonna put that up there for now. Um, and he looked very lovely, sent me through a Nintendo magazine. So some Nintendo paper for those of you um, who are into that. Um, now, back in the day, I did subscribe to uh, Nintendo Official Magazine. Um, when we moved house, my wife said, oh, you don't really read those. They're all just sat there and they got thrown in the bin. Sacrilege. Um, I'm collecting them again, um, much to her disgust because I'm paying for them a second time around. Um, so it's very nice to receive this one, which I didn't have. And this is Nintendo Official Magazine. This one is, for those of you that are interested, January 2010. Issue 51. I assume it's got Mario Galaxy in there. Mario Galaxy 2. Uh, what else we got in there? Some Rabbids Go Home, Animal Crossing. Um, what's the thing? Uh, Spirit Tracks. Da, 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 da. Anything else? Red Steel 2. Where, where, what happened to that game, eh? Um, so, yeah, that was very lovely. Thank you very much, Roger and Buttercup. Um, it's great. And I'll leave a link to Roger's channel below. And. Um, if I get the okay from Buttercup, I might leave a little link to her um, hammer beads. Uh, little thing she does there. So, moving on. Um, I'm building two secret Santas, one at work and a YouTuber one. I will get the work one out of the way first because um, it's the smallest one because we have a small budget. Um, now, someone either thinks I like coffee or like Star Wars. Well, I do like both, but... Um, very nicely, they got me a metal Star Wars coffee mug. Um, it says on the front, if you can't read it, I like my coffee on the dark side. There we go. Yeah, that does focus. Very nice. Haven't used it. Probably won't use it, to be honest. I do have a Costa reusable cup that I have, and in a minute you'll see why I don't. I probably won't use this. But anyway. Yes, thank you very much to that person. They don't watch the channel, so I can get away with saying that. And something I probably will use is a Star Wars Millennium Falcon bottle opener. Now, I'll probably keep that in the games room here if I ever need a bot beer bottle open, which is basic. Most of us have a few beers while we're playing games. Um, that'll be kept up there now, ready for said beers. Right, so I will do the YouTuber Secret Center in a minute. So, Christmas, um, I've got nieces, they bought me something. Um, there's a coffee mug. <laughs> this time it's a gamer's one. So it says, pro gamer, eat, sleep, um, eat, game, sleep, repeat, never die, I just respawn. 
that's very nice of them thank you for that um yes that one i probably will use maybe in here um i've got currently using my uh, super mario one i've got quite a few super mario mugs but that's the one i only use and uh, i've got a few in here that i keep the display but yes i might use that one it fits in here nicely between the shelves so uh, yeah thank you very much to the nieces for that one but you can see why i'm probably not going to use the other one now um, what else have we got so let's let's do this next this was a stocking present i think i can't remember if it was my kids or my wife or it was just a little silly present that is a super mario icons light um it does cycle through or you can have them all lit up or it's on sound sensitive so you can have it going across like a bar i've got to find somewhere to put it in here um i've got a tetris one up there i've got a coin block one over there so i might have to create a new shelf just for that but yep that'll be going up um i can unbox it if you want to see it. So let's get it out of the box so a live unboxing usb cable packaging um press it out of the box some instructions for more packaging and there you go there's the light itself it's, it's not bad quality USB socket in the back and batteries in the bottom if you want to do batteries. Um, these take three, tri three triple A's. There you go. Um, I think that was probably home bargains. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong down below if you've got one of these. But I think it might be home bargains. So, I say thank you for that. That will be a nice addition to the game print rid of the packaging um another christmas gift um this one's from the mother-in-law um and this is this has pained me keeping it in here as well so if you know i've got an instagram um every friday i post a picture of a different beer maybe some sort of game sort of uh, i can tie in with the beer and some amiibo if i can tie them all together so um last friday i had a brew dog called grind so i put a jrpg which was xenoblade chronicles 3 and put the xenoblade chronicles 3 amiibo with it so sort of tied it all together some music in the background and i post that every friday so knowing that not that my mother-in-law watches my instagram she's got me some christmas beers now <laughs> i open these christmas day um seeing as i only post one every friday um christmas have been and gone by the time i got them so i haven't got them I might create some Instagram reels for that and then just put them on a delayed post to next Christmas. I don't know. Let me know. So the beers here are stocking filler, the cold turkey and nut roast, I think that is. Yes, nut roast. It's got a man holding a towel in front of the fire. There you go. So yes, I like my beer. So I shall be drinking those. It's pained me to keep them in here. And um, yeah, I've just had to get around to this. So, um, next bits and pieces. Let's let's do my YouTube secret Santa. So, I I I've got half an idea who this may be. Um, it's definitely someone in the north of the country. And when I say north of the country, I'm at the south of the country. So, everyone is north of me pretty much. Um, but and I will try and put a picture of this up if I remember. Um, they sent me through a lovely note there. It's uh, Xbox themed Mario. Uh, it says, Merry Christmas to the biggest Xbox fan I know. All the best, Secret Santa. So, yes. So I, know, I slightly cheated and looked at the postmark. I sort of know a few YouTubers that way, so I'm not 100% sure who that is, but that's very nicely done. And I've got to get a little frame flap before it gets ruined and put that up on the wall somewhere. Maybe, if I've got any wall space. But yes, so as you can imagine, they got me a load of Nintendo stuff, didn't they? No, they didn't. They got me an official Xbox towel. That's a lovely towel. It's got Xbox on it. Not sure if I'll use that. But yeah, my um, 
My youngest son is now gone the way of Sony, so it's not something he will probably use, but I shall cherish it. I won't be getting rid of it. It was a gift, and I shall keep it. But thank you very much, whoever that was. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm, I think I might know who it is. Um, and one thing, it was a jokey present. Well, I assume it's a jokey present, but I will use this. I will use this. It is a book. It is the Halo cookbook. The official Halo cookbook. Well, this unofficial rubbish. This is the official one. And when I look through, it's just normal recipes. And you know, let's just turn the page. Pineapple fried rice. So it's nothing to these jokey recipes and stuff. They do put some names to some of them. But, but yeah, it's, it's a lovely book. And I will try some of the recipes in here. Um, let me know what you think. Do you want me to cook out of that and do a review? If you're not interested, let me know. Okay, so moving on. Um, some other small Christmas gifts. So if anyone ever wants me to get, wants to get me some sort of stocking filler or something cheap, um, always pointing towards the Animal Crossing Amiibo cards because I have this folder I've been trying to fill up. I'm nowhere near filling up. There's 100 cards to collect. Um, so... If anyone's stuck to what to get me, I'll just say, give me a packet of that. That's like four or five pounds. And they do, and I put the cards in as and when I get them. As you can see, I'm nowhere near filling it up, but it's something just to plod away at, and uh, it gives someone a little something if they need to get me anything. So, yeah. So I've had that for a few years now, and I just every now and again get a packet of it. So, that's that. But... My wife knew that I was sort of half collecting these, and so got with this. This is season uh, series five, and the one I had before was series three. So now I've got series five to collect for, and that's another fifty cards, let's say. It's, I think it's forty eight, forty eight cards. That's another forty eight cards because this is the last series in series five. So yes, I have got some cards in here. Um, some of the back page there you can see um yes another thing to waste my money on but it's amiibo there's a kk slider there it's amiibo and i click my amiibo so as you know series five but she didn't stop there she didn't stop there and what else did i get series one so <laughs> i clicked in series one three and four five now of Animal Crossing Amiibo cards. So this is a hundred cards, as you can see, there's the hundred to collect. And I don't have many of these. I've probably got about three or f three or six. They come in packs of three, so not that I can find any of these that I've got. Oh, there's two on the back page, there you go. So yes, so if you've got any of these knocking about the place and you want to trade them on or sell them or give them away, this is not a big it's just, I'm collecting these now, apparently. So, great. There you go. Animal Crossing Amiibos. Who'd have thought it? Right. Let's let's get my daughter's stuff out of the way. So, my daughter for Christmas. She's five. She was five just after Christmas. Um, She wanted her own Switch. So, she got Switch Lite. I'll put a picture in here because I didn't bring in the room. And being five, what games would you like for your Switch? Well, you would like... My friend Peppa Pig. Now this looks like a fun game. Um, in fact, it is quite fun. And I only know it because when she gets stuck, she comes to me to play it. So yes, my friend Peppa Pig. I know um, Big Game Owls just recently picked this up and he's a great fan of it. So yeah, check it out. I'm sure Al will do a review or a let's play on this. I'll put a link to his channel below. And there's some lovely art on the inside. There you go. Car is with her Switch. I can't show you that, but just says my friend Pepper Pig on the front. There you go. And um, what other things do five-year-olds like? Well, they like Bluey. Bluey the video game. Um, Bluey is a cartoon phenomenon at the moment. In our house it's on quite often, most mornings before school. Um, this one's a little bit more difficult for her, but so she comes to me more often with this one. But I, I think um, 
I want to say Geordie Slasher has completed this. So, um, let me know in the comments below, Mark, what you thought of that. That's the inside. Look, it doesn't take lot to put artwork on the inside of boxes. Please. Just something to look at when we open it. So there you go. That. You could come with some flyers to buy some more bluey rubbish. I'm going to buy more bluey rubbish. But yes. Bluey the game. So, going back to some more adult type things. Say adult. Um, so, my eldest son, he wanted to get me some games for Christmas. Um, I just put a list of games out that I quite fancy getting. Um, one of them was Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion. Now, this looks like a fun little <coughs> uh, Link to the Past type game. Game. It's a top-down sort of uh, very loosely RPG game. Um, for those of you jumping straight in the comments, going, "Ah, it's a two-hour complete." Yes, it is a two-hour complete. Uh, if you want 100% it, it could be up to five hours. Um, I completed it one evening, and now it's on the shelf. I never played a game, but there is some artwork on the inside. Minimal artwork, but yes, and the game. Fun little game. Um, and the sequel's just come out. Um, the sequel always Turn It Boy Robs a Bank. Um, it's only on download at the moment. I'm waiting to see if there's a physical for that because I really enjoyed that. It's one evening. One evening <coughs> of your time. Play a bit of Turn It Boy. Turn It Boy. Yes. Um, next game. Now, this one my son bought for me. And it was off Amazon. Um, and the German variant turned up. And he asked me... Did I want the German one or do you want me to send it back? And I was, I'm in an R and he said he doesn't mind sending it back. And I said, I know it'll play in English, but all the text on the back was in German. And I was like, oh, okay, if you're going to send it back, I'm not going to play it straight away. Send it back and get a new one. So he sent it back and had a new one delivered to me after Christmas. And here's the game. Catherine Full Body. Now, after receiving the German version and sending it back, I received this one. And as you can see, I'm covering over the rating. Because it's an American one. Amazon have sent me an American one. Okay. It's in English on the back. It plays in English. Okay. I can't collect any coins, Nintendo coins on that, but hey, I'm not going to send another one back. This is a game I've been after for a while. I know uh, Dylan Hypertrigger X has recommended this game on numerous occasions and absolutely adores this game. So, yes, it is in English at the top. And French underneath, for uh, Canadian friends, I believe. Um, so yeah, this is another game I want to get into. Um, that's the inside artwork, if you're interested. Game I've wanted to play for a long, long time. So, finally own it. So yes, one more thing to show off. <coughs> Wasn't saying I was expecting. Um, my son bought it for me. Now I've got to collect the series for this. But yes, it is the Super Mario Manga Mania book. I've never heard of these before. Um, but yeah, that's something I will... I don't know if I'll read that now or I'll take that on holiday and read it. But yes, I believe this is part of a series. So this is the first one. And now I've got to collect a lot of them. Although... He hasn't, there's no one here that says it's a series, but he's told me there's more than one, so yes, only read it back to front, obviously. But yes, that lovely present, I wasn't expecting that. It's these little things you don't expect that turn up and surprise you. So, what did you think of my pickups? What was your favourite thing? What was the worst thing? What has it inspired you to pick up? Or is it all just rubbish? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.